Hi you guys and welcome to Robert's Country Cooking tonight. We're going to be completing a simple meatloaf or making a simple meatloaf tonight. I'm going to be using a mincing bowl, of course. Um, we'll also do a simple salsa after we get the main ingredients together. I've got the crackers, uh, one third of Worcestershire salt. We're going to do some onion powder to taste, pepper to taste. We'll use the onion. I'm going to use some of this, let's go ya, to taste, some of this for taste, Tajin, I already say that, we're going to use that for taste, some garlic powder as well as some garlic salt over here, not too much, just a shake of each, and I didn't have eggs tonight, so we'll be using two heaping tablespoons of the mayonnaise, but I only use like a little bit, not a lot, heaping you'll see here in a little bit and we'll use a, a cup of the oats and i got some more crackers i'll throw those in there and then i'll use some ketchup in with a mix okay so before we get started tonight i just want to say oh and of course our main ingredient two pounds of ground beef but anyhow this is our favorite food in the household but anyhow before the show gets started tonight just want to say if you have not subscribed to the channel Please subscribe to the channel. It helps me and Douglas on the YouTube channel to where we can get more views and more people like you that likes to watch our little show. Douglas is busy entertained by a movie right now. But he will be doing a taste test after the meatloaf has gotten done and has gotten fixed. And there you will be able to see the finished product. Go to his short on our YouTube page. And it will say meatloaf. And then you will be able to go see what it looks like, how it tastes, how what he thinks about it. Anyhow, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If there's any kind of recipe you might have on your mind, leave it for me. Anyhow, this is Robert, and I hope you enjoy the show tonight. So let's get started. Okay, so let me get these items out of the way here. And I got some sitting in the way big time right here. It's a bunch of Made a bunch of grams. Mine's a biscuits, biscuits. No, you can't never have too many biscuits. All the biscuits. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is put these things on the counter. Excuse me, y'all. What I'm gonna do. Try not to be funny. But I've got a funny attitude about myself. It's okay. Everybody needs to be funny here and there, don't they? Okay. And we're gonna use these tomatoes. It depends on how dry or whatever. We'll see. And my mother in law, before she passed away in 2020, I'll give her a moment. She, uh, she used to beg me to make this meatloaf. That's how good it is. She said, will you please make that meatloaf? Let's jump into Walmart. I was like, okay, whatever you want to do. She loved my meatloaf. Okay, so we're going to put the tomatoes in here. Let's see what happens. 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 Uh, could do it, but I just might do it. Why am I? Okay, so I have to remember that. Not what I was trying to say, y'all, for I changed the subject. I had to turn the oven off. I was heating a bowl of mine. It literally turned brown, y'all. So I got that anyway. Anyway, I'm saying I'm not going in. What I meant by that <laughs> is I don't like going in with meat or nothing without I have some gloves on. It's not good to do. Although these hands are clean and washed. Ooh. Always good to wear gloves on your hands when you're cooking special with meat. And, uh, I 
I'm gonna be at letting some blue cheese burgers here soon. So let me see here. I'm not going to use my knuckle. Uh, let me. See how handsome I am about stuff? I touch that computer and I'm gonna change the glove. I just don't believe in. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It's funny, I was in the video room a little while ago. I was playing with my dog, Jelly I don't think she's feeling good. I think she's sad about her loss of her old baby last year, today. She's been moping a lot. And I was joking with her and she went to snap at my finger. I was playing with her. And then she just ran up to me and loved on my neck like she was gonna be in trouble. <laughs> Bless his heart. Okay, so let's get this started. Yes. Get our, have our meat to our open. And me, I like to kind of crumb it down in the bowl. However you want to do it. A little bit at a time. Let me pit. Let's see if y'all see this. Can y'all see this? Let's see what I'm doing. You can. Okay, so. Okay. It really don't matter because you're going to mash it up anyway when you're mixing it all together. This is for people that don't know. Most people know how to make a meatloaf. It's on the fly. It's very, something very easy to make. You just throw a bunch of ingredients together. But there's people out there that doesn't know how to make it. And if you don't, her. There's a video. I know, Instacart, Instacart. I'm talking about the computer over here playing for me. This thing's still taking a hundred years here. Crumb with me, I'll be like, please, what do you, come on. So I'm hoping that this cooks up good because it's um, beef. It's not all that. Ah! Get over here and sit, will you please, for me? Thank you very much. Okay, now. Take these mini gloves off so I can work. Now that that's situated, get all that over there. Okay. As I said before, now that the meat is done, I'm going to chop an onion. We're going to chop an onion.
Hey, Dad. Turn that down a little bit. Excuse me, y'all. Will you turn that down, son? Last night, my previous videos, I made a, the wedges I had promised to put up that I should have put up like four days ago, they're up now, um, where I had told y'all in my, you watch my trailer, when you first come on my YouTube page, then I'm going to get them up, not to worry, or don't even think about it. No, not my snow hanging. Well, anyway, like I had tried to tell you guys about when you're listening to me on my trailer. Um, what that is is I had done a video with wedges. Well, anyhow, my phone had, had my iPhone had run out of space, so I had to uh, re-upload the video again. Well, that video is up, and those wedges are off the chain. Then after I did that, I throwed y'all a video up of uh, onion rings. Y'all yeah, want that too. So you can check those two out. And I did those both last night. Slow pace, y'all. Five dollars. Just chilling. Yeah, that goes chilling. You alright? Oh, okay, I love you too. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a good. And here filming. I'm checking. I mean, he's not having that good of a day. Huh? Yeah. You'll be able to get your taste test in. You know, I know how you are about your taste test. Just say what now? He told me to tell everybody hey. I told you too that you said hey. I said I told the YouTube fans you said hello. She was resting. YouTube, your fans. He's asking questions. He's back in the bedroom back there. Okay, but what we're going to do is I'm going to continue chopping these onions. I ain't got to cut them much more. And then, let's see. 
you just want to make sure you get them down to a proper size because it's going to cook in the oven anyhow. He's coming in here, y'all. He's wanting to say hello. Okay. He's coming, y'all. Slowly well, but surely. That got quacker. Yeah, Douglas come to say hello. That's sweet. How y'all doing, YouTubers? Your taste test will come by. <laughs> I was tasting food for you guys. Okay, anyhow, we did our onions. Uh, take that. Would you like to say something before I continue? I would love to go to that Walmart football game. <laughs> okay, who went? Huh? I need that treatment they gave me with that lemon oil and all that. We will, girl. I promise. Okay, so we're going to continue. He wants to go to this foot spa. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. In my blender. I'm going to do what I am. It's the topping. I'm just telling him about it. Can you put it in the bowl? I uh, know. It's going to be that, you know, topping for the main meatless. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you going to put these crackers in there? Because I have. No, no, I'll give you those. You can have them. I give him the red shell. There wasn't that many anyhow. I used to put just the other kind of crackers in there anyway. Okay, we got the onion. How you doing? I love that song. I just do this to taste, y'all. One third, just throw it in there. Don't you know? Excuse me, I'll put back in the camera. That brown gravy is sort of taste like. Girl, I am trying to cook. Okay, and then you want to add a cup of your oats. I love that little area there. Cup of oats, how you doing? Then add your crackers. And Douglas don't feel good. I hate it. Huh? Yeah, just kind of like match it up, you know? And warm, that, that'll warm it up too, so it'll make it better, yeah. And we put it in the cold? Yeah, when you get it fixed. Wait, tell me what you want me to put in there. Oh, use all about, it. no, for you, he's got to do something all the brown sugar? No, uh-uh. Tell me when. Just a little dog about this much, because I got to get in front of the camera like that. I was showing him how to do that. We're working together. How much? Salt and pepper to taste in here. A little bit more, Doug. Let's try. Be careful. I'm trying to get out. And he don't feel good. I like to try and help y'all. Okay. Are you all right, dear? What do you, what do you want okay. in there, Nate? No, just, just tomato sauce? Just here. What do you want to do with the lid? Ow, son. Hey, I need a yeah. knife. Just hold on, I'll take care of that mint, because this man said I just fit that tablecloth on that table, sir. Your nails are too short. And uh, you want to put a, a sleeve of crackers in here? That's what I always do. Yeah, 
And you want to put, I'm going to put the rest of the seasons in there, y'all. Uh -huh. No. And you know how they are. Walmart's like, they're not a giving in their product. <laughs> Like I said, they don't want you getting in their product after you even pay for it. Okay, there's the photo cracker. Any twists for me? You got starter wrist. Yeah, give me a second. And I want to say pit about. I need a monkey wrench to get it open. Or That's a tablespoon, but I didn't even put a tablespoon. About. I'm going to tell you how much it is. I put a half tablespoon in there, y'all. Of salt, that is. Because I watched the salt when that was. Mm -hmm. And then this is to taste the tide. Oh, how you doing? Make it taste good, y'all. Me cooking southern. I don't worry about all that. And what I want to. This will be about half teaspoon. It's Cajun. Cajun, Cajun, Cajun. I'm getting happy with it. Salt. Put about a tablespoon of this in there. This is flavor right meat. This is really good. I put this on the zucchini and squash when I fry it. Onion powder, we'll throw a dash of that on top of the mountain there. I wonder if it's a plastic wrapper right here. Yeah, I'm going to just paste this over a few dashes of garlic salt. Same thing with the powder. Y'all probably think, well, I'll pick garlic powder and garlic salt. That's that, that's the base. I eat a lot of garlic. So, uh, Do you put the hole in it? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to twist this off or get the thing off. Yeah, I will. Hand. Here, use this, Doug. Thank you. Um, they're too tight. The reason I use a lot of garlic in my food is when. to keep me from getting right. sick. Tell me when. I use a lot of garlic, you guys, so to keep me from getting sick. And keep well, anybody smell, from getting sick. That brown sugar and ketchup smells good together. Mm. Let me stir it. Yes, please, if you want to. I'm right, talking about the egg right here. I'm going to put some egg in there. Be careful. Stare it slowly. Don't throw it anywhere, girl. Okay, uh, about like that for the egg. There's one. Yeah, what? I'm gonna pick two. That's plenty. That's the egg. In there. Put an egg in there. No. And y'all, this was the Lexus at last. Don't hold it to me, girl. Hold it to her. She told me what to do. <laughs> I use her for everything. But I've also tried it before, so it's, it ain't good. Yeah. You want to taste this mixture? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some more gloves on y'all. Mmm. Mmm. You want to taste it? No, and you don't need to be either, sorry. I'll just take a little bit of it. 
Yeah, you know, not being mean to him. He has diabetes and he's uh, getting too carried away with his sugar. That good. The brown sugar. He made the uh, topping from a uh, meatloaf. Yeah. I'm gonna that topping. But I've still got something put in it. Last ingredient, we don't tell. That's the secret. That meatloaf's gonna be. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that Alfredo pizza the other day, Mr. Taste Tester? That's very good. The meatloaf's gonna be good. Well, you know what? If I ain't mistaken, your Alfredo pizza is like went over a thousand point something. Has it really? Well, views on your short. Yeah, it has. You're in the thousands pretty much on all your shorts except for a couple. So y'all, so I'm doing something right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to get that mayonnaise first and get that between your fingers and we'll get that back. Ah, oh, look at me, I'm throwing it over. And just get it crunched up through work and get out in there. Alabama. Yeah, Bama like Alabama. That's some good mayonnaise though. There you go. Yeah, it tastes almost like Duke's. I done got it, Doug, in here. It's right here. I already have it, honey. It's already in here. You want me to get it, didn't you? No, honey. Did I just tell you to get it? Yeah, you told me to get it. I'm sorry, I apologize. Can I get some water? I don't care. No, you can't have water. I need some ice. Oh yeah, that worked just like I thought it would. No, well, I didn't. Glued it right all up together. Bell was get right that ketchup is good with brown sugar in it. I told you. Girl, I was a cook in a kitchen. You should know better than that. He was a fat cook. That's not say that He's about food. Girl, us big people, we like stuff. He we can't have to. He's a big guy, my uncle. Who cares? We might be wanting to. Everybody eats what they want to eat, you know what I mean? Would be you know, you got a lot of people watching you on TV right now. And probably laugh. And they're viewers, so I'd joke. watch what I say. That was a joke to any fat people on YouTubers. I'm not meaning to offend y'all. That was just a fact. Because your views can go off the wild cool, or because they're the ones that decide to watch you, Dad. I have some big members in my family. Well, you need to. Say I, that. I have a few people over 400 pounds. My cousin. And yeah, he my, didn't mean that by that. Yeah. My cousin, my uncle. He just recently passed away. But he's an okay guy. Sometimes. His mm -hmm. wife, though, oh my God. She could not cook to save her life. I wouldn't eat none of her macaroni and cheesy old chip a tooth on it. Doug, open that Worcestershire, please. Mm -hmm. If you can, for me. Open that Worcestershire. Hand it to me. I'll open it. I hand me that ketchup. I need ketchup in here. Hand me the Worcestershire sauce. Open the lid, my dear honey. I, I got, I, I can't, I can't put my hands. Off. Is there plastic around it or what? Clean my hands. Did I already? No, I had. I'm not doing that. I can't <coughs> stand to handle nothing with nasty hands or anything. It's a, you know how I am. I'm like a woman. I'm gross. <coughs> not I'm gross. Excuse me. Yo, <laughs> it's gross. Throw your ketchup in there, make it good and wet. I hate anything dry. Anything dry. Hmm. Okay, get good and ketchup. Okay. Get another pair of gloves or get a bamboo bamboo spoon. I'm gonna go use my country spoon. I'm just gonna put that down in there with it.
Yes, sir. So I knew that was going to happen. Cry it, y'all. But you know, I'll be back to store it. I'm right here. Thank God for stainless steel. The Lord said, Jason, do you that stainless steel? And what I do, I didn't. And so, always listen to your intuition, you guys. Don't ignore it. Because if you do, you might be unlucky. My mom tells me all the time, why don't you follow your intuition? Huh? That's always right. Yeah, it really is. So don't think it ain't because it is. Even famous cooks say you follow your dress. You know, we ain't gonna do that, okay? <laughs> Please don't mess up on me. Come on, Meatloaf, seriously. Thank you. You would have to do that to me, wouldn't you? Huh? 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 Yep, crap, right up the side. Let me see. Oh, man. Y'all hate that because that was a nice thing. My husband bought that for me. Sorry, Doug. Don't beat me up. What happened? My bow broke. Oh. You didn't hear it go. Which bowl? A Dollar Tree bowl. Oh, it's definitely a Dollar Tree bowl. Yeah, I know, really. Yeah, like you can't find them all day long. Okay, anyhow, now we got a stainless steel bow. We're going to continue to mix this. Some people probably sell those at garage sales. Yeah. gonna go in with that mint that you helped make me go here. Uh, it's on top of the And you can pop the can because my fingernails are too short. That's good, Dad. I'm gonna put another teaspoon of Worcestershire. here. Cracker blast happened over here. Thing of so the oatmeal that flew out. I hate a dirty work area. You know, like it. You're nasty. No tea. If you've ever worked in the kitchen, you understand. After it's blades of speed and you ain't got a lot of time, that's understandable. I made a chimichanga and Taco Bell one time. A woman asked me, she said, how'd you do that? I said, it's an idea I came up with. I just figured out how to get rolled up into a ball and get a fried heart. Oh, that's interesting. I used the salad mold, the taco salad bowl mold. There yeah, excuse me, yeah. that looks like the taco salad. Yeah. You stick the shell in it, it drop it down in the oil and it hardens. I just rolled it up in a ball and twisted it and turned the top. Oh, really? And I stuck it down there and I took it something else and laid it on top of it. And then dropped it down in the oil and it fried hard. And it was very good. Crunchy on top. Yeah. Had a chicken in it. Had good. chicken in top. Uh, and I forgot to tell you guys, 57, that's a, another ingredient. I had chicken in top. About one third. There we go. Now I'm going to mix up my hands. That's it. 
Add chicken, a little bit of ground beef, sour cream, nacho cheese. Oh yeah. Very good. That's how I make chimichangas. I drop them in oil and fry them. Oh, seriously? Yeah. I, round, I roll them up. Do you make the them homemade, or are you talking about just the Taco homemade. Bell? And Taco Bell. I, like, I, like them, I don't like them rolled up. I like them rounded. That way you can just so what do you think we need to do for our secret snack? Okay, as far as dessert? I'll probably make one of my homemade chimichangas. Drop it in oil. No, I'm talking about desserts, Doug. Dessert. You want to have pies? You want to have... Cupcakes, because I'm not gonna make big Something cakes. Like that. We, could. we can make chocolate balls like I did the chimichangas, put chocolate in it, and we can make molten lava cakes roll, or roll something. Roll it up and hold it, with it and hold it in the oil with tongs mm -hmm. so it doesn't fall apart. You know what I've also thought about too? Is some truffle balls. Mm -hmm. Those would be excellent. If you would like to see some truffle balls, just leave it in the comments. I know I'm going to make a key lime pie. That's a southern favorite. It's key lime pie. Strawberry crunch cake. Stra uh, what was that note? Strawberry jello crunch. Yeah, with pretzels. Truffle cake. Mm -hmm. We got all kinds of desserts. Just leave in the comments. Tell them, Dad. Leave in the comments whatever they want to see. I've been wanting a key lime. That's coming up soon. Yeah. I probably actually mm -hmm. have a butter mm -hmm. recipe that somebody stole. Okay, this is your last step. Okay, yeah, because this land is there. Why not mistaken she got it off the back of a box? You know what's odd? You can really find a lot of nice recipes on boxes, yeah, but I don't like cheating. I like There's cooking. A lot of really nice recipes on and boxes. coming up with just the way it tastes. Mm -hmm. You know that's how I come up with this meatloaf? Mm -hmm. Just throwing a bunch of stuff together just to see what it tastes like. And your mom said, I don't know what you do to that meatloaf. It's magical. You heard of that? What's that commercial where the what was that your mama used to say to me, though? When she wants this meatloaf, what was that? She tell me. You gotta turn it into a meatloaf. What you think, Matt? You remember when your mom used to ask me to make it? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, she. But my mom would beg him to make that. I told you. We have to get in the car and go to Walmart. I said, whatever you want, I'll make for you. And Doug, he likes it too. And meatloaf is good with like mashed potatoes. It's good with mashed potatoes and gravy. It's good with a lot of stuff. Just depends on what you want to eat with it. Okay, now I've got my loaf. Get your loaf pan right here. And take it and just flip it over. Make it all pretty. it down some. Foods are, especially this, make it mold to your hands. So yummy, how you doing? I don't want it lopsided, but <laughs> so it's gonna cook, so Now, uh, tell them, Doug, as far as the food and the shorts, how that works out. Yeah, usually he gets done, usually cooking it. When it's done, I sit at the table and taste test it. So, and what? Tell what I think about it or what not. Okay, so what do they need to do when I, uh, this is done? They need to what? They taste need to, it. Well, they can't taste they can it. review it. But I like to taste it and smell it. Um, yeah, but basically what, what we're it. saying and he's saying, just go check it short out. But what we want to do is we want to make our mints next. Some water. So let's just do this. Stuff. Let me get him a glass of water. Excuse me, guys. It's parched. Okay. 
花的来。What we're going to do next is we're going to make our uh, sauce to go on top of this. Those already pre-started it over here, but I'm going to show you how it's going together. Okay. And this will, uh, you want to try sweet? Thank you. Well, okay, and so what? We're, this is your meatloaf. What it will look like? Your side. So I'm gonna set this over to the side. I'm gonna set this over here with you for a second, guys. On my table. Right. Be nice to protect it. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. Um. So I'm gonna go down now. It's making sauce, like I've said, 130, 50 million times. Thought I'd throw that in there. I was like, get on with it already, will ya? Okay, so our other ingredients gonna be some Campbell's tomato soup. A lot of people are like, what? But yeah, still wasting a lot of ketchup. Use this. We'll put some of this in there, but you don't have to drown it out in ketchup because you can ruin a meatloaf, literally. And I think what I'm going to do with these tomatoes, y'all, is I'm going to put them over the top, and then I'm going to put that on there. So just tell me what to do with them. And I ain't never done that before, so it might be a secret. Y'all might get to learn today, and some people might already do it. Might not be a secret. How's that sound, Dick? Mm -hmm. He loves me. He, he don't care what I do. He'd be like, yeah. He doesn't care what I do. Excuse me. Like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add one 10.75 ounce, or one 10.75 okay. ounce, that was correct, can of tomato, camel's tomato soup. We, ha we here. haven't had the best water. Oh, yeah, we do here. We do got good water. So we're going to add this to the bowl. Was that stuff that, uh, Doug, the ketchup and the brown sugar he had already put together in here. Oh, this is your topping. This is all you need. You don't need a bunch of that. I like it. Now, when it's almost done, the meatloaf, you put it on like 20 minutes before it's done. And then you will... These are good with grilled cheeses. Or this is good with grilled cheese too, y'all. Winter time, I'm going to do a lot of soups. Okay, Robert, I think for our soup. Yeah, I'm sorry if I scrape cans. <laughs> town, of, town of Swanee has pretty good water. If you've ever been there. Alright. Yeah, I used to live there. You ever eat at a fast food restaurant there? That water is, is good. Okay. Let me... That water out of Taco Bell tastes okay, so good. Okay, then. We'll take this to stir this together. Just make sure it mix well together. I was tired or stressed out, I would either get me some ice and get me some sea or a mist, or get me a cold glass of water and sit down, get me a biscuit and a piece of chicken. Now, when you're a cook, I always make sure to taste your food. I always taste my food before I let anybody eat it. And then smoke me a cigarette and take me 10, 15 minutes to myself. How are you talking about when you used to work? When I got work at first out. Okay, so let me get me a taste test thing here. Lisa would say, take you a break, and I would. I would sit down and get you something to eat, take your break. Doug. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all, that is the best I have ever tasted. I'll go outside, spit my brains out, and eat me something. Okay. Doug took, took about... One third cup of ketchup. Uh, sure. One third cup brown sugar. 
And then I put the uh, camel soup in here. One can, one can of camel soup. And then uh, mix it together. Which is equal to a cup. One can of tomato soup. Soup is, is a cup. cup. Yeah. Because I measured it out before. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Doug. That's sweet. And uh, so that's your topping. So all you have to do is set this to the side. So when my oven has been preheating, I'm going to preheat it to that magical number we all say. Little hint, if nobody has a one cup measuring cup, you can always substitute a Campbell's soup can for a cup. Because it measures out to exactly one cup. So that's what I... Excuse me, my hand. That is what I used to measure a cup for for my chicken casserole ingredient. Okay, so that's that. required out. one cup of stuff in it. I'm going to set this aside. So what I'm going to do... But one can of Campbell's soup product is it ex measures exactly I'm a turn cup. Turn back towards the stove. Did you know that? Is that little feetsies? Because I measure, I poured something. I'm in listening. One. I poured I'm it in my, I, me I poured my milk in it and measure it out in a measuring cup, and it turned out to be one cup exactly. Excuse me, y'all. I, I pull out this. I started doing that. Excuse me again. I'm trying not to be in front of the camera. But I've got to get a glass pan out. And if I sit on top of my stove without this wooden thing, it will explode. Okay. I did that before I set a glass. Yeah, he exploded two of my power glasses like that. I'll just let you know. It won't happen. I put it in water and it exploded. Scared the heck out of me. I'll set the meat left right back in it. Tell y'all a little story. We used to live in Athens, and he had put on some eggs to boil one time. And I was in my bedroom, busy on a computer, and he went to the bathroom. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to put that on 350 degrees, and you want your help me, Doug, meatloaf. <laughs> you want your meatloaf for about an hour. Yeah, for about an hour. And so, I won't be back showing the finished product right now. But go check out Doug. He's going to do a beautiful cut of meatloaf. And uh, he'll give a taste test and let you guys know. So, go check him out on the short. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Helps the algorithm on YouTube with me. Um, it's a little warm in here. Excuse me, y'all. It feels good. And, uh... I just wanted to tell y'all, thank you, me and Douglas. Douglas, thank you for your support, and so do I. And God bless y'all. I hope your day has been good today, and happy Friday. God bless all of you. We all need a God bless here and there. And uh, I hope to see you very soon back at Robert Country Cooking. And I will be bringing up some summer items and stuff. Y'all will see it start coming in. Uh, but we love you, and we'll see you later. Until then. And to finish off my funny story, y'all can only imagine of what happened when he put those eggs on the bowl and went to the bathroom and forgot about them. They exploded. It sounded like a shotgun. It scared the heck out of us.